guys. This is Brittany from Canadian Beats, and I'm on the line with JD Era. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing, Brittany? I am good. Excited to have this conversation, that's for sure. Yeah. So to dive right in, what can fans expect from your new album, Back from the Dead? So, I mean, if you're a JD Era fan and you've heard some of my old stuff, you know that you're going to get a lot of lyrics. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm definitely a, a lyrical guy. I come from a a background of like freestyles and battling and stuff like that, you know, like that's how I got into rapping uh, originally, you know what I mean? So um, you're going to get a lot of lyrics and, and a lot of big beats, like I, I like a lot of hard hitting beats and like just stuff that like kind of pumps you up, you know what I mean? Like I, I, my album is very hard hitting, very fast paced, you know, um, Banco is just kind of a sample uh, of, of where we're going in terms of uh, the sound, but uh, you could definitely expect a lot of bars on my album. That is good to know. So what makes this album different from albums you've done in the past? Um, I think it's just progression, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this is, I haven't released uh, an album since No Handouts, which was, uh, I believe, 2013. Um, and, and that was, you know, it was received really well. I was nominated for a Juno with that album, you know what I mean? And uh, I, I toured off of that album for a couple of years, you know, so... Uh, this album is is just a, a, a an older an older more grown version of me. You know what I mean? But um, in terms of like uh, quality, it's 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 fire. Like you know, with me, you're, all you're gonna get is fire. You know, so I think people know what to expect with me. And and with this, it's just an evolution of that. For sure. So where did you get the title "Back from the Dead"? Yeah, "Back from the Dead." So it just felt fitting. You know what I mean? Like I said, I haven't released an album since like. 2013, and I know a lot of fans have uh, just been wanting music and, and wanting to know what's up and where I've been at, you know what I mean? And, and for me, just calling it back from the dead was the best way to just describe uh, uh, how it felt to kind of be back and kind of be back in the mix and, and getting back on the road, you know, in the new year and, and just kind of being back out there, you know what I mean? It, it was it was a much needed break. I've been putting out music, you know, for like 10 years straight where we just been putting out mix tapes and touring and I've gotten to be on like albums and and songs with some of the best artists in the world you know what i mean and, and the best mcs in the world so i've been super blessed you know what i mean in my career but like this album for me was just kind of just it, it calling it back from the dead it's like i'm just waking up everyone you know what i mean it's like lazarus you know just coming coming back in full effect you know <laughs> for sure <laughs> so your new single bankroll Tells us about, uh, tell us more about the process behind it. What chose you to make this the first single off this new album versus a different record? Yeah, so I mean, um, that, you know, obviously I could have chose uh, one of many records that are on the album. I just, uh, I wanted to go with something a little bit more fun, a little bit more uh, high energy. It has a little bounce to it. You know, it's, there's bars in there, but it's not overly lyrical. You know what I mean? So for people who have never heard of me, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, a good a good feeler you know what i mean as, as to um some of the new music but uh for like my long time fans like i just want them to know like there's some there's some bars on this thing you know there's gonna be fire on there uh with me spitting and, and whatnot but yeah back was just a high energy track and i wanted to get something you know just for people to have a little fun too you know you could play it in the car you could play it in the club you know what i mean um uh, just something for that kind of feel yeah for sure so you had said you're coming back from almost a five-year album hiatus. What can we expect from you in the rest of 2018 and going into 2019? Yes, yeah, so I mean, um, so we just put out the bankroll video. Uh, me and a friend of mine, Doug J, uh, who just released his album called Blame Me. I wrote a couple records on that album. So uh, like in the time where I was away, I was still writing and still recording and whatnot. So I wrote a couple R&B records um, on that album. There's a record... Uh, by an artist named Pay Me called Dynamite that people can check out and another record by a girl named CL uh, called No Sleep. Um, both those got videos, you know what I mean? So I just put out a new record with him as well um, called Drop Top and we put out the video for that so people can check that out. And then to close out the year, I'm going to have another joint drop, you know what I mean? And, and then uh, in the new year, look out for the album to come out, you know? I'm, uh, I'm looking to put it out first, like top of January, you know what I mean? So... Just look, look for Back from the Dead to be coming out around that time. And, and really, it's going to be all over the place. So it's going to be hard for people to ignore, you know? No, for sure. I'm so excited. I know if Bankroll is just a little taster for us, I can't wait to see yeah, yeah, yeah. everything else. Don't, don't, don't. 
no, I, I like that. I like that you're feeling it. That, that's good. Yeah, no, of course. So what were you most excited about from releasing this album? Um, I mean, apart from just getting music out, I think uh, I'm most excited to get back on the road. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm, I'm really excited just to see how people receive it. Like, I, I people... I've always gotten a really good reception with, uh, in terms of my music, and every time I put out a project, we grow a little bit in terms of our audience, you know what I mean? But uh, this is my first time putting out an album independently, just myself, you know what I mean? I just started a new label, Up North Records, you know? So uh, this is gonna be uh, me just kind of filling out the waters and just uh, testing things as an executive as well, you know what I mean? So um, it, it's it's gonna be fun, man. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to just people hearing the music and getting a chance to just dissect it, you know what I mean? And, uh, and letting me know what their favorite songs are. I think that's probably the most fun for me, right? Uh, when people, after I put out the album, hearing back, the joints that people like love, you know what I mean? That's probably the most fun for me. Yeah, of course. So what, mm. what is the best piece of advice you've gotten being in the industry? The best piece of advice? Um, you know, I've gotten a lot of advice. Uh, I, I'd probably say um, you got to stay true to who you are, you know what I mean? Like, uh, as you, as you enter the game you know there's going to be a lot of opinions on what you should do or shouldn't do you know what i mean and uh if you're an artist that has a certain level of success um you could fall victim to like trying to make a different type of music you know what i mean but i think um just staying true to who you are as an artist is is the best advice that i could give a, a new artist perfect well I want to thank you so much for taking the time to jump on the phone with me and know more about your new album coming out and bankroll and what we can expect from you. I know I'm so excited and I'm sure all of your diehard fans are as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, make sure you guys check me out too on Instagram. Add me on the Instagram, JD underscore ERA. Add me on all the social medias. You know what I mean? Twitter, just JD ERA, JD Era, everything. My website, um, www.enjoyera.com. You can follow up with me, add me up, do all that good stuff. Brittany, uh, hopefully we connect in person. You come out to one of these shows in the new year, and uh, you can you can see the live experience. It's way better in person. Yeah, of course. I'd be so excited to come out and check you out. <laughs>